Okay, so this is a different kind of video, but um, this is kind of me sharing a portfolio of some artwork, which is hard to do with one hand. But I've done a lot of art in my life. There's some watercolors. It was back when I was first trying to learn how to draw people. Um, <laughs> I had an SLR camera back in 2000. So I was taking pictures of my work just so I could have a portfolio. Dalai Lama. There's a little boy. See, I was just learning. It was definitely off. Um, but I improved. There's my nephew as a kid. You know, in the picture you see... His right eye looks a little bigger. I could have fixed that in the drawing, and I should have. Uh, but I learned. And here's some family members trying to get that to look like him. Not too bad. I did a painting of a sunset in Monterey, California. That's the painting. A video of a picture of a painting. <laughs> But someone bought it, so I don't have it anymore. There's my niece. Whimsical. She was awesome. Yeah, let's see. Some more doodles. And I started getting uh, more intense with the facial features. And I really liked watercolors. So that's a watercolor. I did like comic books, but... Not the main ones, so got some practice with shading there. Good old sphere. Some ink drawings. That was from the cover of a novel. That's the underground again. Some more watercolor. That was pen and ink. And it's funny, it was red and turquoise. And if you put 3D glasses on, that looked pretty cool. Pen and ink. Doodles. With ink. That was a blacklight poster. Looked pretty cool. That was another 3D poster. Looked amazing with the glasses on. Pen and ink. It was all freehand, believe it or not. Even the, the lines on the edge. Grand Canyon. That was a painting that is in someone's house now. That was acrylics. That was fun to do. That was a sculpture. Chalk pastels, that was a big poster. And that was an assignment to get ribbons to look right. Um, so that was fun. I did the background all black with chalk. That was not fun. This is oil pastels. And that was acrylic, believe it or not. That was pretty big. There's another ribbons. Oil pastel. And that is a Chinese parade dragon. It was a painting I did. Well, painting. It was oil pastel. Um, just general photography. Um, I feel like that's sort of towards the end. And then in this book, and this is important, this is just a doodle book. It's just passing the time. But what's in here that's pretty cool, if I get to it, I thought that was neat. Who's underwater, you know? Um, I'll get to it in a minute. There we go, some eyes that I definitely did, and this is not Photoshop. So, it's a video of my sketchbook and my hand over it. That's hard to do. So yes, that's a real drawing. 
someone maybe suggested that it wasn't. All right, there was a, you know, I was first learning to draw faces. Not great, but get in there. There's the old Dalai Lama <laughs> back in 2000. That was from the cover of his book, I think. So these were my sketches working towards that parade dragon. I had no idea what a parade dragon really, really looked like. I didn't have an example back then. But I just kept trying until I kind of felt like I got it right. I did that picture. I think that's it. Yeah, I eventually got it. My daughter made this. That's fake. That's fake. I thought it was real. She killed me yesterday. But the main point of this video is I'm going to be working on some artwork to help out Animal One Guy, and I'm so happy about it. So there's my audition drawing. <laughs> we'll see where we go with this. This is just a rough draft. Definitely not finished. I would redo this. You know, I've got... The color balance is not great, but I just kind of threw it all together and said, look, maybe I can help you out. So we'll see where we go with that. Thank you so much for watching, and um, check out Animal One Guy's channel. Hopefully we'll have some interesting drawings of reptiles that people can check out, and maybe it'll be on a t-shirt. We'll see. Maybe. So please subscribe. You can see the, the adventures of... Murray and Rose, and maybe help me get some motivation to do this artwork. So thank you so much. Have a good one.